நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் ப்ராட் யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டின் அண்ட் ஆன்சர் செக்ஷன் பப்ளிஷ்ட் ஆன் செவன்டீன் இன் மாலை மலர் மேகசின் ரிட்டர்ன் பை அவர் ரெனோட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி The question of the female reader is as follows. I am an unfortunate person as my mother expired on my delivery. I have few elder sisters. The life of my elder sisters is not good. My life, of course, it is not good. My father arranged my marriage while I was studying. I have a daughter. My husband is a very good man. and a staunch devotee of ambal my husband is not interested in physical pleasures we have no physical relationship post delivery of my daughter few months before my mother in law insists me on getting a male child she also threatens me that she will throw me out of the house if I cannot give birth to a male child and in addition to this she also told me that she will arrange second marriage for my husband I cannot imagine my life if I get divorced because my elder sister did not have a good marital life and she left her husband and she lives with her father I am afraid that how much extent my father will be stressed if i to leave my husband i am afraid that he might even suicide if such a situation happens my mother in law tortures me with every possible chance she gets i'm really really longing for love affection and care Recently I have developed a good rapport with my neighbor guy who belongs to our community a college goer To get rid of all the problems in my marital life and to avoid my mother-in-law's pressure on my life can I get a baby through my neighbor guy Please advise me brother I'm looking forward to hear from you. Thank you. The response to this question is as follows. The girl is native of Libra ascendant. Jupiter and Rahu resides in ascendant house. Moon which is waxing resides in Scorpio in second house. Saturn is retrograde with own house status. in 5th house that is aquarius and ketu resides in 7th house which is aries mars resides in 9th house sun resides in 10th house that is cancer mercury resides in 11th house and venus resides in 12th house that is in virgo This girl is native of Libra ascendant and Scorpio rashi. I'm really shaky to read some letters written by my readers. In our Bharat Bhumi, we compare the women with earth because both have unfathomable patience and they bear even whoever hurts them. our motherland forgives and embraces the people who hurts it to be born as a female one has to do a lot of good karma my dear sister you are just 22 years old and you are making justification that the next door guy belongs to your community and you have developed a good rapport with him and you are even preparing yourself to get a male child by him since you're so young many men around you will not hesitate to take care of you to love you 
to understand you. I hope you get what I mean to say. Imagine you are 60 years old. Will the same happen? Will the men around you will try to take care of you? Will they love you? Do you ever think so? This is the bitter truth you need to accept. The planets have great role in everybody's life and you are craving to become a victim of desires. Currently, the major planetary period of Venus and minor planetary period of Rahu is running. As per Bhavad Bhavam, the ascendant Lord Venus is in 12th house to its own house and it is also aspected by Mars. Rahu is residing in the house of Libra, that is ascendant house. You are Ketai Nakshatra, that is Jeshta Nakshatra and you are currently undergoing Janmashani. On one side, you are truthful to your husband. Mars aspects the fourth house to the ascendant, which is Capricorn. And the Lord of Capricorn, Saturn, resides in fifth house and gets aspected by Lord of sixth house, Jupiter, by its fifth aspect. The Lord of fourth house, Saturn, is also aspected by Lord of 12th house, which is Mercury. All these pushes you to take a wrong decision. Since Saturn is traversing through Ketai Nakshatra, that is Jeshta Nakshatra, coming January, you are going to face a big shame where the Pratyantar Dasha of Ketu is going to start with Saturn aspect. You are going to face a big shame and humiliation. Don't stoop low during the major planetary period of Ascendant Lord, which is debilitated. Please try to take this as an opportunity to reform yourself. Now let me clarify more. It is the question about whether you will get a male child or not. Saturn resides in 5th house to the Ascendant and based on Rashi, the Lord of 5th house Jupiter is in 12th house to Rashi. That is Scorpio. And moreover, Jupiter is in conjunction with Rahu in the house of Venus. As per your natal chart, it is not possible to get a male child. You addressed me as your brother. Therefore, I would like to give you few suggestions. Please try to show a lot of affection towards your mother-in-law. Treat her as your own mother. It is not high time. A woman can understand the feelings of another woman. Share all the truth that your husband is not inclined towards any physical relationship with you. Try to make your husband understand that even the goddess he worships will not accept his prayers while he denies the duty as a husband. If you are determined, you can achieve anything. Nothing is impossible. As per natal chart, there is no male children. But is that the end? No. By the grace of Almighty, you will get even two children, male children. The impossible is always achieved by prayers. And definitely you will get a male child through your husband. Please remember the Almighty in all your prayers and make sincere prayers to the Almighty. Definitely you will get all the bone. In the description box we have added the playlist link of all English videos so far published and write your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.